Hey yo, it's Alert Gaming coming at y'all with another NBA 2K20 video. This video is gonna be a little bit different because the fact it's almost June, and if you do not know, the next gen has already been announced, so that means 2K21s is already in the works. If we're not gonna lie to ourselves and pretend as if 2K20 is any good, this was one of the worst 2Ks we have had. And we, if we want 2K21 to be the best 2K of all time, we gotta come together and tell. 2k what we want because they don't know what we want that's why they give us the same neighborhood two years in a row before we even get started with that if you agree with anything that i say in this video at all make sure to smash that like button share the video around with your friends if you're new to my channel i upload daily 2k content so there's always something for you to watch from the start this has always been a problem vc vc how come it costs 50k for a football and 250k for a DJ machine 2k? I wanna know this. How come it costs that much? And just to buy them do rags themselves, the do rag costs like 20 to 15k VC. I'm not gonna spend that much money just to get a silky do rag on my hair 2k. I love them do rags, but in real life, a do rag costs about two dollars, my guy. So most of your clothing, they're really dummy expensive. I know. A lot of people don't got money to be spending on the VC. I'm not trying to spend $60 to buy the game and then spend another $60 just to be able to look good in that game. That does not make no sense at all. So that's something I hope that they reduce. If even if they reduce their VC prices, it's gonna equal more bills. Less VC. Think about it, you reduce your VC prices, that's gonna equal more people building and playing your game. Cause if I'm a newbie at this game and I'm grinding my VC at the park or at the, uh, the my career and I'm not planning to spend all of it just buying one piece of item. So that's one thing I hope 2K fixes, but we all know 2K, you know, but we all know y'all love y'all's VC. So that VC price is probably gonna stay the same, but all we can do is just hope. With 2K21 around the corner, the best thing we can hope is 2K and Ronnie, they don't put the same thing that they did to us in 2K20. That's not the neighborhood, but you can think whatever you want. That's what Ronnie did at the beginning, and I hope we get a different park and a different neighborhood completely. A big dub in 2K size is the takeover, but there's a few takeovers that people are not using at the end of the year, like the sharpshooting takeover. You really don't need it right that much. You can get a lot down takeover and then you're still able to shoot so towards the end of the year I a lot of people stop using the takeover as much like there's a few takeovers a lot of people do not use that's what I'm saying but it's a dub in my eyes the fact that you're able to put a takeover any takeover from your build like you, the attributes you have affect the takeover that you have so when you're creating your player you gonna have to think about that I think that's really fun and it changes up the game style all I ask is next year fix your takeovers or oh, you can add double takeovers double takeover is actually something that had in 2k19 where you when you got to 95 you get double takeover that was really interesting or make the ground really worth it another big thing that they had it this year is the badge system the badge system i enjoy it a lot i enjoy the badge system I, I don't enjoy the ground there's a different because at the beginning of the year the ground was crazy the ground was completely crazy you would have to take your player to my career just to even be able to get a badge so the only thing i had a problem was the slowness of the badges but towards the, in the end of the year people figured out a lot of things that change up how you grind so they even changed the speed of the badges so you get your badges a lot quicker that's what i'm saying another thing that 2k just gotta add this is just for me they gotta fix the reps they gotta add more better reps that thing in the past two case you never know sometimes you get a jet at a tiger imagine you chill in 2k21 you see guy, a guy pulling up in a jetpack with the tiger with him you can be like what rep is he who is he that's what i'm saying nobody really cares when they, they see a legend pulling up in a chopper nobody really cares like that but if you see a guy with the damn tiger i'm gonna be there i'm gonna be there i'm gonna want to know who is this man and how in the world do i get a tiger it's that simple to get just add better reps so a lot of people can be excited to get to 99 uh, that's a big problem getting to a 99 that's one thing i gotta address y'all gotta fix the rap system i will go more in depth with that but y'all gotta fix that 
The following is also a huge problem. It also goes along with the rap that's been a problem for 2K20. The rap system has been hideous. In order to get to 99, most people have just been throwing laps. You're not gonna catch me playing 2K throwing laps the whole game. That's not fun. But the problem that a lot of people had was definitely the pack system. Me, I actually love the pack system, but definitely we need more pie charts. I'm not talking about custom pie charts. I think custom pie charts that's not the best idea unless 2k somehow finds a way to limit to you from how OP you can be so you're not allowed to make a straight up just a whole completely shooting badges and just be a demigod on defense so that's what an, one thing I think they need more pad charts equals more VC spent which equals more builds be made which equals more content be made so it's a win-win for everybody 2k wins we win so more pad charts is going to change up the game a lot because this is going to introduce more new builds going on to 2k like I was saying the rep system them it's so bad as you can see sometimes you could might have a 99 game and 2k just moves you half for one and when you lose you move down by three how does that make sense 2k so when you tell me i have a good game you're gonna move my rep system one when i have a bad game not even a bad game when i don't perform a 99 y'all move my my bar by two or three that does not make sense that does not make sense sometimes you might have a good game and 2k would just not give you the reward it might just think like you're having a bad game that's one thing i have i feel like if you get to a 99 you should stay at a 99 this is one thing that 2k19 did right it's like if you grind it to a 99 they would just let you stay at a 99 they would not let you drop from 99 to 98 I like the concept and idea that 2k was trying to go for but I felt like it was poorly executed I like the fact that your win rate and your loss rate affect your overall but I definitely don't think it should be affecting it to the way that 2k added it that's one thing that if they fix it then I would not have a problem with the rep system at all there are a bunch of things that 2k could have easily at any point of the year fixed and it would have made this game a lot more enjoyable for everyone and one of those things is just the subway if you know the subway has just been broken throughout the whole year if you take your squad there one of you might not come out the other one might get jumped and the uh, you it's just really bad sometimes it even makes it to the point like you're not able to get a game you come out the subway you think everything is good you click on the stage like on the spot your player does not hop on the spot so the thing you gotta do is close the application rejoin on your friend and so on there's way too many things for me in order to get a different park you're telling me I gotta go through the stage or the daily spin or go through my friend that does not make sense please to get fix that another thing that they gotta add fix is of course the stage because there's a lot of delays and boosters at the stage that's why you don't be seeing me at the stage we could of course say that they could we need a different park they bring a high roller park back bring all the affiliations back this those are all things that we we all want so I don't want to be too obvious with that one thing that I want them to change up is the matchmaking aspect you guys need to change up that matchmaking aspect to separate the ranked and the casuals we need the casuals having their own parks and they're ranked and so they can able to actually we want the sweaties and the casuals having their own park because if we, they don't have their own park it's gonna be a lot of heads crushing and I honestly believe this is gonna help a lot of people getting games this is gonna help people getting games which is really key the next thing I'm going to say, I know it's going to trigger a lot of people, but the fact is I don't believe VIP, they need to remove it or change it, because I don't believe anyone should be able to kick anyone out of their streak. If I'm on an 85 streak, no one should be able to kick me off that streak. You got to take me off this streak. I worked hard for this streak, and you got to you gotta beat me for this streak fair and square. Now just press X, and you kick me out of my spot. I thought, me, myself, I went on 35 streaks, and... I've like you know how long it takes just to get a 35 streak and someone just kicks you out how frustrating that is I believe even if you have a VIP I believe you should not be able to VIP anyone higher than a 10 game win streak if you have a 10 high game streak then yeah you should be able to stay with your streak 
that's one thing i don't want people to say just take it away it takes the uh, the legend the fun from being a legend i know a lot of you legends love that ability but i think it's just toxic honestly it's toxic no one should be getting off kicked off the streak at all Another sick feature that they could add is the private matchmaking. Imagine you have private matchmaking in the park where you're able just to tell your friends, Ew, let's just grab like six or nine of us and let's all of us just go have fun at the park. That means you can have different types of videos man this is gonna help a lot with content creating and i know a lot of people that did not know that the three versus three program actually has this in the game even myself i did not know this until very recently that's all i've been playing i have my squad and then we all of us the six of us are in the party and we are playing against each other it's really fun it's really competitive and they change it up because this will help you when you want to go out and just want to play for fun with against your friends and sometimes Times, this is gonna help with the wagers I see so many people lagging when they're doing wagers this year there's been a lot of wagers I know a lot of youtubers would appreciate that private matchmaking if where will be less lag when they're putting on a show for the whole world they could just have their fans their subscribers I could see the videos now that so that private matchmaking is something that 2k gotta look into since 2K21 is gonna be on the next gens, this is some things I'm just expected to come with it, like a clean game chat. Like game chat in 2K20 sounds so bad. It sounds like it's as if some of y'all are using dollar store mics. No offense. It sounds too bad. It's so choppy. You can barely hear people. That's one thing that 2K gotta fix. That we need and we need better looking parks. I need my park to not look great. I don't want a great looking park. It looks so sad and so depressing. That's one thing. Another thing is that the developers, y'all gotta be on top of the glitches, the exploits, everything that's happening in the community. You guys gotta know and be able to take it out the way and add different things. The update, we need update notes so we don't just go running around looking what. We need to know what we're updating and tell us when there's an update coming ahead of time. Stay communicating with your community and that should work a lot better. I hope y'all like, I hope, I want to hear everybody. I want to hear what y'all want from the next 2K21. Cause if y'all don't tell them, they're not gonna hear. So make sure to sign off in the comments down below. Tell me what you want from 2K. You can even name like top 5 or top 10 of the things that you expect from 2K21. And I hope y'all enjoy this. If y'all did, don't forget to like the video. And I'll see you in tomorrow's video.